Okay, so it's April 1st, and also Easter, so... Easter Fools, I guess? Um, either way, yeah, uh, my parents just left, well, my whole family just left to go on holiday, so that leaves me with the whole house for the next two weeks to do whatever I want. Well, I have nothing to do, so I'm going to hopefully be working on this, because this has been left like this for way too long now and something needs to be done about it is an absolute wreck I took this down in well about two years ago because the track stopped working and all of the things I'd made on it were not very well made it was mainly just sort of ready made stuff and put straight onto the layout and I wasn't pleased with it I wanted to do a better job and sort of prove what modelling I can do so I started remaking it about a year or two ago and uh, then I went to uni and had you know exams and things and I've never been able to get back to do it so I guess now's a better time than ever. And that sort of corner is more or less done with the tunnel uh, and I'm fine with that. Over here working on the sort of little promenade of shops um, I need to make the sort of the flooring for that but that is not too far off done all the buildings are custom. Um, in this corner there's going to be a little fishing key area this will all be um, cobblestone over. Um, just got to sort of refine a plan for that, but that's um, getting there. Uh, that corner might just stay as a hill, but the main problem, sort of, the middle bit. I don't actually know what to do. So there's going to be a station here uh, on along the curve. I think uh, probably a, a bit on the straight as well. And I, I want a little bit of a yard just to shunt trucks and things around. But other than that, I don't really know what to do in the middle. I don't want it over powering as a railway. It's got to be sort of weaved into the town. Um, we're going for sort of a preservation railway again, like the the last layout because it can be, you know, you can have any uh, era of rolling stock on it. So that's what we're going for. But you know, have a like a timeless classic feel to it. I mean, the main problem. I don't know if you can see this, but you know, this is not actually the light from the window. This is actually fur, all of this white stuff. Um, yeah, lots and lots of fur from my cat, Mango. Um, so thanks for that. Yeah, whilst I've been gone, she's just been lying on the board because there's a radiator sort of underneath. And see, this is just like a heated platform for her and she gets to look out the window and she knows she's not meant to go on it. She does anyway. It's a bit too much. Um, yeah, so over the next two weeks you'll be seeing a lot of this. Well, over the next couple of videos, I guess. Or just in this video. Either way, enjoy. It's nice to actually have a tunnel. Yeah, never really had one before. I wish I had a proper one instead of just a pre-made one. Mm. Mm. Oh no, yeah, that's definitely not gonna. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> Terrifying. <laughs> oh Jesus Christ! <laughs> oh god, I'm always careful with my models. <laughs> <laughs> Quack it up. <laughs> Quack. 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 There we go. <laughs> 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 Ha <laughs> 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 
It's the last thing you'd expect. This is the end of the bus. This is the end. What do you see his eyes coming through the tunnel? Of the bus. <laughs> the tunnel of the Rain bus. Of bus. <laughs> I recognise you as a face. You can drive over Sam with a right laugh. She's actually still steering. <laughs> <laughs> Accidentally hits the accelerator, he flies off. <laughs> it's safer by road. <laughs> Stop spreading your propaganda, Bertie. <laughs> I'm a brake tender, I am. <laughs>
Oh, it'd be a magic trick if he just disappeared afterwards, but no. Yeah. <laughs>